Hey there, this is Stacy Phillips and this is my video log for Tuesday, November 26, 2013. It is two days before Thanksgiving and there's so much that I would love to say. Um, I just don't have room on this video and you don't have probably the time to hear me ramble on and on about tips for Thanksgiving. So I'm going to give you just a few um, to, to uh, take with you into, sorry about that, into Thursday and, and into the days um, coming up to Thursday. Um, on the support call, the Habits of Health support call, which I highly recommend that um, you take part in every week. It's a conference call format um, that um, health coaches who are in maintenance um, host uh, and they always have great information and all clients are welcome to to dial in and use their pin little code to, to listen um, I believe right now I want to say it's at 5 p.m. Pacific or 8 p.m. Eastern time every Wednesday night and the phone numbers um, are listed in the back of, of your guide uh, that you get with your program materials. So you can also call customer service and get the phone number, the current phone number for that. Okay, that aside, um, what they what they talked about is that, you know, really we have choices um, this holiday season for, um, you know, for, for Thanksgiving, for Hanukkah, for Christmas, um, New Year's, all of those. We have choices. Our, we have three choices, really, um, during this season. Um, those choices are, and really if you just break it down to, you know, Thanksgiving Day, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and New Year's Eve. Um, New Year's Day if you want a Super Bowl. I mean, you can, you can use this for anything. But you really have three choices in any of these, you know, event type, food-based food event type social gatherings. Um, you can either gain weight. Uh, just know that you're going to gain weight and uh, that's your choice um, for that meal or that day or that week. Uh, second choice is to maintain, uh, and you can choose to do that also. Uh, your third choice is to get through the event and and lose weight um, that week, that 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 night, that day uh, um, for that event. So the three, the way these three choices play out is, um, and first let me preface this by saying there is no right answer here. Um, there, it's not. In my mind, and you know, one thing I had to kind of divorce myself from in this whole process of um, you know forgiving myself, forgiving my body, you know, moving forward, obtaining my health goals, is I chose to not look at these decisions as moral decisions. I was neither a good person if I stayed on my plan and lost weight, nor was I a bad person if I chose to indulge in all of my favorite things. Um, neither of those make me a good or bad person. What they do is if you look at a timeline, I have here, right here is where I've said I want to go. This, these are my health goals. These are my long-term health goals. Optimal health, ultra health, attaining and maintaining ultra health. Um, here is where I came from. Uh, you know, BMI of 47, walked with the cane, over 50% body fat, uh, in aches and pains every day of my life, um, wishing why can't I just be normal and wondering who put me in this fat suit, um, not realizing it was me. Uh, so that's where I came from. This is where I'm, I'm headed. At, at any time in our program, we're on a continuum. We're on a time continuum with these choices that we're making. Um, so let's say I'm here. And I want to be here, and I've come from here, and I'm here on the timeline. Um, the third choice, which I think is the most optimal one f for my own happiness and for my own peace of mind, um, would be to stay on, on program, um, would be that making that choice and realizing that this is something I'm choosing. It's not a big deprivation. I'm getting closer to my health goals, and this decision to to structure my day and, and take care of myself and uh, during that day and making sure I'm properly fueled, properly hydrated, emotionally taken care of, that's going to move me closer to my health goals. Or <clears throat> the second choice would, would have been to maintain. Now, what does that look like? Here's the continuum. Here I am. 
after the meal or after, you know, the week, Christmas, uh, Thanksgiving week or whatnot, I'm still here. I've neither moved closer to where I was nor closer to where I said I want to go. I'm still, I'm still where I was. And, um, or I can be headed back this way, uh, kind of willy nilly, uh, and out of control really is what I would call that because ain't no way I'm in my right mind going that way again. So I'd, I'd have to be crazy. So it's not a moral decision. It's just a one of my own mental health. I am not going that direction. So for me, my only two options then, we'll just narrow it down. Uh, I'm going to put, put that first option out, take it out of the picture entirely, which is, you know, being out of control, eating everything like years past. Just know that that is a choice you can make. Um, and you're going to regret it the next day. Um, and so if you are going to regret it, I always say, if you're going to regret it, why'd you do it? I mean, you know, we, we, we're, we are in control of what we put in our mouths. And no one else is but us. We're the only ones that are in control of that. You know, nobody's duct taped us to the Thanksgiving table and is force feeding us, you know, with a plunger, the pumpkin pie and whipped cream. You know, no one's doing that. Um, so, yes, we don't just find ourselves having eaten everything and all the leftovers. We do that ourselves. So um, that is a choice. You will regret it. I can I can tell you that, but it's not a moral decision. Um, it's just going to take you closer to where you were and not where you want to go. So I'm going to take that choice off the table then and talk about the other two choices, um, which I think are, are, are the, I think the more wiser choices um, for all of us who might be watching this video because obviously we're seeking health in our lives. So second choice there would be to maintain. Um, you know, there are even talk about adhering to programs. You know, there's a certain percentage rate of, of being able to adhere solidly to a program for a length of time. Um, my thought on the matter is if you really want to get here uh, to your health goals, uh, then the best option is to, um, to choose to eat on plan and just treat this day like any other day. Um, enjoy the company enjoy the people, um, enjoy the atmosphere, um, enjoy your turkey. I mean, have some turkey. Have, take, take, your, take your gravy um, pouch with you, uh, your, your, um, your helper meal, great, your, the, the, the part of the, the supplies that you can order. You can make gravy and take it with you or make it there. And you don't have to you know, miss out on any of the, the, the smells or the people or the atmosphere. You, know, you can have your turkey with your gravy and you can have your green beans. You know, drizzle, drizzle a little olive oil over top of those green beans. And, um, you know, saute them up with a little bit of minced garlic or uh, you know, a couple of aroma little uh, cherry tomatoes thrown in there. Um, you can make it so delicious. And, and not be depriving yourself of any flavor. Um, but you're making a choice, and your choice, your choice involves moving toward your health goals no matter what. And I can tell you that that is a mindset that will get you where you want to go. I, there's no doubt in my mind. If you have that mindset going into the holidays and you, you act based on that mindset, um, that it's not all about the food, it's all about the people, it's all about the traditions, it's all about the time of year, it's all about, you know, Christmas is about Christmas, Thanksgiving's about Thanksgiving, Hanukkah's about Hanukkah. And um, if you look at that as a, as, a, as a social event with food instead of a food event with people, um, you really might find at the end of it that you really enjoyed yourself. You had a great time and, and you feel very peaceful about um, all of your decisions and you're closer to your health goals. So that middle choice there, the, you, you want me to talk for a moment about the maintaining choice. Um, the way to go about that is if you're if you if if you're very sentimentally attached to um, grandma's pumpkin pie and you're going to feel so deprived that you did not have grandma's pumpkin pie that it's going to set you off the next day you're going to be mad all weekend and just feel like this is big one big you know deprivation and if that's at all in danger of affecting your mindset about continuing it just makes you big one big mad person um and unbearable um have grandma's pumpkin pie uh, have some stuffing have whatever it is that you're very sentimentally attached to um i'm not gonna sit here on this side of the camera and tell you that it's wrong to be sentimentally attached to food because i just told you a few minutes ago that there's no moral 
it's not a moral judgment here. There's, it's, there's no wrong answer. There's nothing that's going to make you a bad person or anything like that. It's just will it, will it fulfill your greater long-term goals? And are you willing to put that on hold to get to where you want to go faster? Um, if, if having grandma's pumpkin pie, uh, if having two bites of that and two bites of stuffing and two bites of cranberry sauce with your turkey and, you know, two bites of a roll with a little butter. I mean, if those things are so ingrained in you that you're, you're going to be mad, you know, and unbearable at the gathering and sulk. Uh, no, I get it. I get it. If, if you're, if you already know you're going to have that reaction, um, then you've decided to maintain and, and, and you can do that. Um, you can still do that in moderation. Having a bite of pumpkin pie does not mean you're going to be up four pounds on Monday. You'll only be up four pounds on Monday if you have uh, a cup of stuffing with all the gravy, two rolls, go back for seconds, then you have two pieces of pumpkin pie with everybody, and then later on that night you get out the pecan pie and have a slice of that as well when nobody's looking, and then the next day you're off that Thanksgiving, so you may as well be off the next day too, and it's that kind of mindset that the uncontrolled, undecided, where you just, you know, you just couldn't help yourself and you dove in, Again, morality-wise, that's not a wrong decision. That's just a very uncontrolled decision. And you're going to have a very hard time getting to where you said you want to go over the long run if you cannot learn through incrementally adopting the habits of health uh, on an on a incremental basis, sustained over time, repeated daily. Um, if you cannot start learning those habits to rein in that kind of behavior, you will not get here to where you say you want to go. So... Um, basically, if nothing changes, nothing changes. So the choices I would recommend for Thanksgiving are um, at the top of my list, it's remember always keep your health goals uh, in, in your mind and act in accordance with those goals. Make it, ma make it your business. Make it your primary business to act in accordance with your long-term goals. Um, that's where you want to go, right here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm holding my hand up. Um, make it your business to do that. And if you're not acting in accordance with your long-term goals and where you want to go, what do you need to tweak? Um, what habits do you need to develop? What maybe negative habits of disease do you need to set down and pick up some positive habits of health to, uh, to get you where you want to go? Second choice is to maintain. And again, you are, it is possible to maintain. Can I guarantee you're going to maintain and not gain if you go off plan? No, please don't take this as any kind of guarantee that you're not going to gain one or two or three pounds if you eat off plan. It is a risk you take. <laughs> However, if, you, if your life will not be the same without having grandma's pumpkin pie and a little bit of stuffing and, you know, the, the casserole, the sweet potatoes and mashed potatoes and all that, have one or two bites of everything. That, that you want. One or two bites, one plate, everything there, don't go back for seconds, um, and who knows, you know, call me on Monday, tell me what happened, <laughs> you know, but then be right back on plan, you be right back on your plan for the next meal, you know, don't extend it through the whole evening after everybody goes to a movie and then you get popcorn and dots and eat them together um, because you've had the stuffing and thanks, you know, Thanksgiving earlier in the day, don't do that, um, no matter what you choose, don't do that, so uh, can you tell I've, you know, I've done all these things, I, I, I know, I know what's going on, so um, anyway, all that to say, Outside pressure, okay, this is going to be a little bit longer vlog, so hopefully you'll, you had about 15 or 16 minutes, because this outside pressure is going to take a couple minutes to talk about. Um, I have found that when you're going to a gathering with family and friends, uh, mostly family, some friends, um, that, that you don't really have control over the guest list and all that, there are always going to be people who are um, kind of the, the bugaboos, the people who want to see you fail. Um, the people who maybe struggle with weight themselves or they've had bad experiences with programs or, um, you know, they, they, they would like to see you fail because it would bring meaning into their life if you did not succeed. Unfortunately, there are those people out there. Um, you know, love them anyway. It's just love them. Love on them. You know, take them by surprise and just love on them. Um, 
But you may get people asking you questions about your plan. Why are you doing this? Why aren't you having, oh, just have a piece of pie. Just, you know, the, I call them the food pushers. The people who, sometimes it's even your mom, you know, or grandma, because that's what they've been raised with. I mean, food equals love, and you're rejecting their love if you don't eat this thing that they made for you. Um, so, you know, with those people, take a gentle hand and just explain to them that, you know, you just don't feel like it right now. Thanks very much. Um, there are a whole host of things that you can say that are the truth. You know, I've even said, my tummy's giving me a little trouble right now, but thank you. And that's absolutely true. My tummy was giving me trouble. It had been giving me trouble for 20 years. I'd been morbidly obese. That, my tummy was giving me a lot of trouble. <laughs> so, you know, I don't have to be so transparent that I apologize for not taking their food and then go into a 10 minute explanation as to why I'm apologizing because nine times out of 10, they will turn that around and use it back on you to say, well, come on, just a little bit. I mean, they're not gonna, in one ear out the other, they're just gonna continue pushing the food. So change the subject, have a list of questions that you have. Um, you know, write them down ahead of time if you want and put keep them in your pocket so that, you know, you can answer a question briefly and then ask a question and change the subject. Um, They'll hardly even notice you did that. Um, secondly, people always think that everybody's noticing what they put on their plates. And, and well, they'll notice that. It, well, not, they might not. I mean, people are really, they're only attuned to what you are or aren't eating if, if you are. If you've made a big deal out of it, if you're projecting your deprivation on everyone else, they're going to feed it back to you and tell you just loosen up and have some fun and eat, you know, eat some pumpkin pie already. I mean, they're going to reflect that back to you. So watch how you're projecting um, your plan and your choices and don't go in with a martyr face on, you know. Uh, smile, ask questions, be interested in others. Um, and I, you, you may not even be asked why your plate only has green beans and, um, and turkey on it. You know, you may not even be asked that if you don't make a big deal out of it. So um, anyway, then there's always the, uh, well, how much more do you want to lose, you know, question that comes up. And, and you know, I have a lot of cool, funny, witty answers to that that I've mostly never had the courage to, to actually say. But, um, you know, one of them, and I have used it before, is I said, well, I just want to be in the mid-range of a healthy BMI. So that's where I'm headed. And they probably don't know what a BMI is, so they're not going to ask you, but some will. Some will say, well, how many more pounds is that? You know, you're looking kind of thin. You're, 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 you lost too much. You know, you'll get, you'll get concerned relatives talking to you about how you've lost too much and, you know, you're still in the overweight zone, uh, the BMI. So I find that talking numbers doesn't really work with relatives, you know, because no matter what you say, they're going to say, oh, that's too much. You know, oh, well, I just have 10 more pounds. Oh, yeah, oh. you know, so but if you say, oh, I just want to get to a healthy range of a BMI. Oh, okay. And if they do ask, they say, well, what's that? How many pounds left is that for you? And I just happen to have a BMI chart in my purse that I carry around with me. I know. Um, and so I say, well how tall are you? Because let's figure out what that would be for you, for example. You know, how much do you weigh and how tall are you? And I think the conversation might probably be over at that point. They may be changing the subject. So um, anyway, these are things that, that, that little tips and tricks. Now the video is up to 20 minutes. So brave you for if you if you watch this whole thing. Congratulations. Um, Feel free to comment. Feel free to contact me, Stacy Michelle Phillips at gmail.com. That's S T A C Y M I C H E L L E P H I L L I P S at gmail.com. If you would like a free health coach, I am one and I counsel a very specific plan and I can give you more details about that. If you already do have a health coach, I urge you uh, if you would like to uh, attain optimal health, you reconnect with them. Uh, but I really do not accept clients that are already in the system. So uh, new clients only, please. And um, we'll get you to optimal health. So if you already have a health coach, reconnect with them. Uh, tell them you'd like to uh, get on that path to optimal health. And they would be very pleased and thrilled to help you do that. So um, thank you so much. And uh, happy Thanksgiving. And remember if Uncle Albert, you know, says... Uh, Something like, uh, how much more do you want to lose? And you say, well, I don't know, Uncle Albert, how much more hair do you want to lose? You know, and that, you could be the life of the party. I don't know. <laughs> Have a great rest of your day and happy Thanksgiving. Bye-bye.